When designing a project, especially a project that has elevations and some complexity and, and even maybe a narrow yard and, and different things that you have to take into account, a really nice way of screening out certain views is to do something like what we're calling the Zen screens. Just using a few materials with interesting texture that kind of creates those blocks in the right place. Now that could be done with evergreen trees if they're space and you can block out a lot and stagger trees. Challenge with those is to do it immediately you need very large trees or you buy small trees and wait several years to it to grow up. Or in this particular case, we were able to do partitions, these Zen screens, which allow us to block certain lines of sight to give the customer a little bit more privacy. We're on a lake here, so it is fairly open, but there are a couple spots that, um, again, to, to block out some things. The other huge advantage of this is lighting at night. Now you have a backdrop that when you light up against and that light glows back, you've created all this functional usable light. So each of these screens, and there's six of them on this particular project, all are, ba are lit so that it creates that backdrop of light which makes it organic and very nice and it's a really soft and comfortable light at night. Without those, we would have had a real difficult time trying to light those spaces short of additional shepherd hooks and lights hanging down. We we're able to do this from the ground and reflect back. Uh, the, the other part to design is on the landscaping end. Uh, the, the plant material is organic in nature. It's growing and changing and evolving. And there's this bush bush tree mentality in most landscaping circles. Uh, an awful lot of the companies that say they're custom landscapers, that they, they like to do things different, they just do bush bush tree, but they use different bushes and different trees each time. And that is certainly an approach. It's not something that I would prefer. The what we're looking for when designing and working toward the landscaping is someone who's more organic in nature, a gardener, someone who loves the plant material and the textures in the material and can play with them and put them in places so they make sense that we get all of that richness that organic material brings. That's one of the beautiful parts about plant selection is it gives us so much more texture, so much more option. And if it's done uniformly, the bush, bush, tree, bush, bush, tree mentality, Nature doesn't work that way, so it doesn't look natural. But if you can soften it up by not thinking bush, bush, tree, and instead of let's look at the textures and make the textures work, the product, the end result is phenomenal. And I think in this particular case, it's a great example of not just hiring a landscaper who sends their crew in that just puts bushes in based on a, on a blueprint. This is done by a woman who cares about each and every plant. So she has her, work in, her workers digging the holes and doing that, but she's lovingly placing each one of them specifically. And I think that it brings a whole different essence to the project, brings a whole different energy, and the net result is fabulous.